Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's play some, uh, let's play some uh, quantum break. Please support and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. That's what I can say. Uh, I'm playing this, it's part of the game pass right now. So here you go guys. Riverport University experiment. I did not go through this game. Uh, I don't know what the game is. Uh, I just need to play as it goes. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Pulse Free was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Thanks for the ride. No problem. Okay guys, all right, we have to move. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but... Well... Not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Paul! Jack! I just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear you. Uh, when you hit the courtyard and look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul yeah. had always been a showman. Nice. We had to explore the collections. Let me switch on the subtitles first. Okay, we have to move to the university. Where do I go? Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Okay, he said it's behind him. Babe, can we go home yet? Hey, it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Burning the midnight oil? Just waking up? Nobody left 
Do I have anything here? I know. I just need to find these things. It's not a lake. Expose the lies. Find the truth. Nice. Let's go for the building. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. I think we are in the right way. Let me get inside. Let me get inside. Open you made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> He needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. <sighs> Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the yeah. flight? Let's go. First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. In here, Jack. You're going step up. In. Okay. There's more to this than you're letting on. Stepping in dude. about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's been explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a Rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's follow Paul. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Welcome to Project Promenade. Yet. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? 
The future, Jack? You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, somebody's gotta keep tabs on you. Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. We need to keep pushing forward, Jack. That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's going to be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I and mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do 
Let's hit that switch. What's that, dude? Do you need to hit it? Okay. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Scientific movie. What the fuck? I know. There is a resemblance, like like a mirror. Dude, oh. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Well, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What the hell? What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on, the core. hold on! We can't shut it down, Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? Nice. Seems to be a great game. I need to play this. I'm just playing the game without knowing the uh, moral of the story. Like, what do you say? I don't know what the story is about, what the story is. I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the fuck is this? It should have worked. It broke. It should have worked. I think he stood here, right? Where it will go? I need to check on him. This can't be real. How the hell? Dude, something is happening. I need to check something. I'm missing something here.
What okay. the hell? There you go. There he is. This is crazy. This is permanent? Well. Well. She was right. All this time. I warned Paul. This could all have been avoided. We're too late. Let me get the ball out of the machine. Let's go. Okay. Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. He can stop the bullets like Jack. He can sl slow motion it. You just. What just. Go this way. Move. That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out of control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse. It, it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will. What I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. Uh, what? Locked. They cut my security clearance. Ah! That didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the server room. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming. In here. I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out. Shh, you. Shh. you. No, what? I don't know. We're on this side. Are we sure he didn't head back up to the lab? He could have gone back and tried to dig the surface. This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Back up some route to flush him out. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even...
have no context for any of this, Jack. Keep moving, keep moving. You wait here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. Okay? I think so. But Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. This is not good. There's the elevator to the lobby. Wait. It's coming down. Hi. Not again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Hey, take it down! Watch out! These guys are wearing monarch uniforms. Monarch? Why the hell is Monarch firing at us? You tell me! Hey! Your pickup! Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Raider team, Doc Jack and William Joy's been detained. Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. We must be after the machine. You can't go to your car. Get into the elevator. Can you run? Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important to fix the fracture. I, I Dude, need. Who is walking? We need to get to my car. Okay, just just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What? Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Dude! Oh. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was what? still frozen. Stunner. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. I just switched to the bunny team. Where's your car? This way. Everybody's frozen right now because of my power. Look at this. She's terrified. Look at them all. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? 
Don't try to help them. They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. We can get to the parking lot through the lecture hall. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was going to happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Through this door. Look at this space, dude. Okay. No, no. My car. They're patrolling the parking lot. Oh, God, that's... it's... Okay. Okay, Will? Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here, you'll need the keys. Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. 